Okay, we're continuing with the solar theme, and this is the solar charge regulator or controller from Harbor Freight. And I've got the load component hooked up to a USB charger from PowerWorks, and that is hooked into a USB cable that hopefully we're going to charge this iPad that is, you know, you'll see if I push the button, it's... Uh, battery is dead so it needs to be charged. I have the solar input right here and that is going to the solar panel out on the porch and I've got the uh, battery hooked in here and you'll notice I've continued with my theme and I've made some adapters which I'll review in another video but i um, big fan of the Anderson power pole it gives me the ability to use 12 volt connectors in a large array of systems including this solar system and right now we are hooked into this sealed lead acid battery that is 8 amp hours 12 volts and this uh, particular connector right here is another PowerWorks connector into Anderson power pole and then into the solar regulator right here now we're going to plug in the iPad right here and see if I can do this with one hand but hopefully we will get a charge and uh, be able to power up this iPad this battery has unfortunately been dead for a while so we'll have to see if we can get going here but we'll There you go, you can see we're starting to charge. So I will come back to this system in a few minutes after we get a little power going into that iPad. All right, there's our little Australian Shepherd, Sierra. And uh, there is the system you just saw. This is the cord heading out the door just through a little crack right there and out onto the patio and if we open the door you'll see the uh, Harbor Freight briefcase solar panel sitting out there aimed at the sun okay we've only been charging for perhaps a minute just long enough for me to give you that reverse view out onto the patio and again we're using the charge controller from Harbor Freight the solar panel out on the patio. This is a USB charger for um, any USB device. It's from PowerWorks and I've got my iPad hooked in here and then via Anderson power pole we are hooked into the load uh, port on the solar charge controller all right, we've been charging for just a few minutes and we're at 3% uh, charge right now. And uh, just a quick look here. This is the uh, PowerWorks USB 12 volt charger, 3 amp uh, charger, which uh, gives you quite a bit of charging capability. And again, you can use that with a cigarette lighter, any 12 volt battery. And of course, we are using it right now in conjunction with the solar setup. So I feel pretty comfortable with the sun and this setup. I'm gonna be able to keep iPhone, iPad, um, and other devices up and running, including my radios. Okay, again, we're answering a question from a viewer, uh, Catherine Carr. Excellent question. Can I charge a smartphone? And as I showed, absolutely yes. In this case, uh, while I'm using my smartphone to uh, videotape, but I am charging an iPad with um, an Apple FireWire cable, and um, that's using a PowerWorks USB 3 amp charger that is hooked into the solar charge controller and again I've used Anderson PowerPole uh, connectors but 
I want to show that this system can keep other things charged and we can also charge multiple things at the same time. Now this is my little 12 volt cable and accessory kit that I pretty much carry with me everywhere with my radio gear and it has cables and connectors that help me keep things up and running. It's packaged in one of the Amp3 gear corrals and it has a nice little 12, uh, nice little Velcro label here that you can write on whatever you want that you're storing and organizing in the gear corral. In this case, uh, I'm using uh, the label to denote my 12 volt cable and accessories. So I've got a number of things in this um, organizer, but I'm going to pull something out. Now this is going to be um, a item that I want to refer you to, um, Hardened Power Systems, Bill Harrison. This is what he calls his power puck, and I'll show this in a second, but this will allow me to charge multiple things with the Anderson power pole connected into different devices. The other thing I've got in here is a cable for the back of the Terminator radio. This is one of my favorite radios right now. It is the Terminator and you can find these radios on the AMP3 website. One thing I particularly like about this radio is I can unplug the AC charger and I now have access to a 5.5 millimeter barrel connector and I keep a number of connectors in my kit. This is the connector that would go to the solar uh, charge controller and I can also plug this in to an Anderson power pole. And what I'm going to do in this setting is take this cool little device invented by Bill Harrison, very compact. This gives me multiple ports to plug in. Okay, so we're going to plug in the power puck from Hardened Power Systems. Bill does awesome work. And then we're going to plug the radio in. And you'll see immediately I'm getting a charge signal to the radio. And now we'll plug the USB charger again from PowerWorks. This is a really nice 3 amp uh, USB charger. And you'll see immediately the iPad detected that charge. So, Catherine, to answer your question, yes, you can charge a smartphone or any USB device, but I'm also illustrating here that we can charge multiple devices with this system. In this case, we're charging both the iPad and my favorite radio right now, the Terminator, using a power puck from Hardened Power Systems, all running off the solar charge controller and charging the battery and we're getting power from the sun from the um, Harbor Freight folding briefcase solar panel that's sitting out on the patio. More solar to come.